Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I just wanted to take a moment to answer a question that a lot of people probably asking today and they probably asked themselves a few days ago, if not a few months ago. Should I install Mac OS X Mountain Line? You may or may not know what Mountain Line is. Well, it was released today on July the 25th of 2012. Now what's cool about Mountain Line, number one, the price. It's only, and, and I think people that bought a new Mac after a certain date, that they were eligible for a free upgrade. But if, you're, if you weren't eligible, like I am, and I've had my, I've got an iMac uh, uh, 2010 edition, uh, Intel i7 quad core, and it runs it like a champ. I was not eligible for the free update, but it was super easy to install. All I had to do is go to the Apple iTunes, or the Apple App Store, rather, and I selected uh, Mac OS X Mountain Line. It was around $19 or so, which for a software operating system upgrade I felt was reasonable. You can argue with me that the Mac hardware and all that's overpriced, and I will agree with you there. But once you've got it all, the ability to continue to keep it current for a reasonable price is a, is a big uh, two thumbs up in my opinion. So I like that. I also like the ease of installation. All I had to do is download it. Now I've got a fast uh, internet connection on fiber optic. So it didn't take as long for me as it may take for some people. But I downloaded it and as soon as it downloads it says, hey, you need to close your apps that are open. So I had like Internet, not Internet Explorer, pardon me. I had uh, Google Chrome and Safari open. I use both browsers concurrently sometimes because I'm weird like that. And uh, it, it prompted me to close those. And as soon as I closed them, it said, okay, I'm going to restart. So it's going to restart in like 30 seconds. Sure enough, it restarted. Everything came up. I mean, it was, it was completely idiot-proof. It gave me a little countdown timer on my particular computer. It estimated, I think it was around 30 minutes it was going to take. And it was, it was pretty accurate. It took around a little bit over a half hour. And then everything came up, presented with the same login screen, had all my accounts, had all my icons on the quick launch bar, had all my files. No problems at all. Now, the only thing that did happen when it came up, and this was a third-party app uh, called VMware. It's a, uh, it's a Windows uh, emulator if you want to run Microsoft Windows in a window, which I know it's not that popular to do, but I do do it uh, for certain applications I have to run uh, within Windows. So that is no longer going to work with, uh, with uh, OS X Mountain Line until I update it. Not a big problem, but I liked how OSX Mountain Line actually analyzed what I had installed and it said, hey, this, this probably isn't going to work well. So I thought that was a nice touch. Now, the big incentive to upgrade to Mountain Line, if, you're, if you've got an iPhone, an iPad, iPod, all those devices, what it's going to do, and this is what I think is really cool with Apple's uh, uh, vision here, it seems that they're taking their desktop operating system and making it feel from an interface perspective more like those mobile devices. Now they haven't really overhauled when you when you fire up uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion you're not going to feel like you're in front of something different. If you've used Lion or Snow Leopard previously interface is going to feel the same. What you're going to get is enhancements that will better connect your desktop or laptop if you're using a MacBook that will better connect your computing, your computer experience to your tablet or your iPhone experience. It's kind of meshing it all together. And when I say that, and you can watch my other videos, I got a video on the Reminders app, which is really simple but really cool. And then also the notes, how they managed to take all the notes, even notes that you have stored within your mail program and subfolders, and make them all accessible in iCloud across all of your iOS devices. So Apple is really heading in the right direction with this. I really love the stability of it so far. I'm not going to say it's any faster than Line because I haven't really run any sort of benchmarking apps yet to see if uh, video editing and, uh, and uh, Photoshop and all that kind of stuff is any faster. But I will, I will tell you, I've already uploaded a few videos with it. And it's, I mean, it behaves the same, just as snappy as, uh, as Mac OS Line did. So, if you're kind of on the fence about it, the way I would look at it, if you can afford $19 or whatever it is to upgrade, 
I would go ahead and do it without hesitation because it's it's going to make sure that you've got all the most current apps, all the most current updates from Apple. It's just a really good, uh, really good decision to make, in my opinion. But and the thing about it is, if I was in the PC world, I would wait with Microsoft Windows. I would wait months, if not a year or so, for them to get all the bugs worked out. And that's what's so cool about Apple is that they put out this new product. And even though it's not a completely new operating system from the standpoint that the interface looks different and whatnot, they put enough candy in there to make it worthwhile. It's definitely, in my opinion, it is definitely worth the $19 price tag. And I look forward to posting a lot more videos as I dig more deeply into it. Uh, right now, I've just kind of touched the surface of it, playing around, getting really excited. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into it a lot more deeply now and post some more videos. So stay tuned. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash Thanks for tuning in. Y'all have a good one.